got live. Not quite sure how this is working. Um, let's see. All right, yeah, so I got a little delay, but it looks like I'm starting to figure out what's going on a little bit. Um, where's my Google Hangout? Right here. All right, what's up, everybody? This is the very first 10 Thumbs Live uh, Google Hangout. This is pretty cool. I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. Um, so I would like to start chatting with you all and see how you guys are doing here today. So let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching, looks like I got 31 viewers, 32 viewers. So where are you at? Where are you learning from? You from coming from Colombia? You come from USA? I'd love to hear from you. Doing a nice little blues and A to kind of uh, help you relax a little bit. I'm a little nervous. All right, so I let's see. I mean, where, where are we getting people coming from? We get okay. So I do. I got I got some chats coming here. It is. All right. I'm saying, what's up, Twenty One Potters, bro? Yeah, Nighthawk, Patrick, Ghost Trash, Joe Fish, Michelle. Yeah, my man. Yeah, Patreon, good kid. Um, all you guys, fabulous gaming. What's going on, Layla? Hi from Colombia. Yo también. Ahora estoy en Medellín también. I see you, Herdeen, in Sweden. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Israel's in the house. New Jersey, Alabama, Ireland, Croatia. This is great. Um, Britain, California, Javier. I see you guys. That's great. Hello to everybody. All right. So this is our very first um, live hangout, and I'm just kind of getting a feel for it and seeing what it is. I wanted to see you guys' as pretty faces. Unfortunately, I couldn't, but it's pretty cool to have a conversation with you guys. Um, so first off, the very first thing I want to say Besides Happy New Year is, if you're watching, I want you to leave a comment below in the live chat, and I want to hear a song that you want to teach, um, you want to hear me teach in 2018, because we're getting ready for the new year, and we're looking at all this fun stuff happen, and I kind of really want to know what you want to learn, because what you want to learn is what I want to teach, so if you're watching this, leave a comment, and uh, let me know what kind of songs you're trying to learn. Lebanon, I see you in Lebanon, hello, hello, um, and let me know what you want to learn. Also. Apart from that, more blues, more rock and roll, kind of what genres. I know a lot of you 21 pilots out there um, are probably missing those tunes too, wondering when we're going to do another song like that. All right, someone, you inspire me so much, my friend, that inspiration goes both ways. It is you guys that inspire me as well. Um, your learning is what motivates me, so that inspiration is mutual, my friends. House of Gold, I see you, Joe. We've already done that one, man. We did House of Gold, and we even did a chord melody version of House of Gold as well. Vance Joy, Riptide, we got you covered. You know, that actually Riptide just hit a million views. Riptide was our second video um, to hit a million views. So that, that's pretty cool. And in it, I didn't shave my neck and I didn't know a million people were going to watch. And I look awful, but it is what it is, right? All press is good press. Say hello, Peru, my friend Antonio Ramos, te veo. Espero que todo está bien en Peru. Yo pasé dos semanas en Lima una vez. Excellent, man. I love Peru. The Beatles, more Beatles, más music en español. So that's something that we're thinking about doing as well, too, expanding our um, Spanish lessons to every other Friday, to every Friday, and doing some songs in English as well. Blink-182, we've never done a Blink-182 song, um, and it's about time that we have done that. All right, Wonderwall, we've never done Wonderwall. That's another one. St. James and Furry, more bluesy stuff like that. Why don't we go ahead and jam a blues out in A real quick, because I got the ukulele in my hand, and then we'll kind of talk about some things you can see in 2018. So you can check out the 10 Thumbs t-shirt I got rocked on. I actually just opened a store on Etsy as well, too. So we are starting to sell some of these t-shirts as well. Joe, do I write songs? Yes, I do write songs. Um, do I write good songs? Ooh, that's maybe a little different question. I do enjoy um, the process of writing music, but I'm not much of a singer. I, but I do enjoy the process of writing some songs. You've got a friend of me, Leona. We've already done that one. Randy Newman, I'm a big fan. Um, hopefully this year we'll do Baltimore and a couple other songs that I really like. Louise, yeah, it's a great one. This is Jam of Blues Out Day. Have some fun. How 
many of my learners out there are learning blues with us? You guys taking some solos and some fat nasties or what? That's a great idea, someone. Um, that's funny that you said it. I have a friend here in Goku, uh, named Gokula, and he is half Bolivian, half Colombian, and we have been talking about doing a video on busting for a long time. So that is something that we can look forward to as well in the near future, okay? Also, with this live thing, I'm just experimenting. It took me a while to get it up here in Colombia just because it wasn't something that was um, very common here in Colombia, and it took a little longer to get to Colombia. But now that it's here, I'm also going to be experimenting with some Patreon. We're doing some live lessons as well. So we can fuck. Thanks. Thanks, Antonio, man. Thank you. My friend uh, Repojo did that one down here. So we got them up on the Etsy store. Do I play bass ukulele, Joe? Um, no. But check this out. I have a friend named Diego, and he left an actual acoustic bass in the house. So I've been kind of trying to jam this out the last couple days and let my fingers get used to this a little bit. But it's not a ukulele bass, but I think it's more or less the same idea. I'm pretty novice at it, to say the very least. I, I wouldn't consider myself able to do anything but recognize some basic chords. Hozier, we've never done a song by Hozier. So um, that one, Cherry Wine, there's a couple of them that we need to do. Duets for ukuleles, please. That's something that we're looking to do more of as well. Um, not necessarily ukuleles, but make sure we can teach the harmony as well as the chords so people can play some riffs and some chords on top of that, like we did the other day with Childish Gambino. So that's something that we're looking to do more of. <clears throat> Hotel California since last May. Yeah, man, a lot of bar chords in that bad boy. When you gotta get into these B bar chords and these F sharp seven dominant bar chords, it gets a little tricky, but you're really gonna open up the ukulele by getting those. Long time by Chance the Rapper. I would like to do more hip hop, so keep those hip hop coming, um, those requests coming. I'm more of a classic hip hop dude, so we'll be looking at things like um, Notorious B.I.G. and some other things like that, but for sure that's something that we're gonna be doing a lot of. About a month ago, Pakistan, and I absolutely love your videos, um, Manish Boy, that's right, what a great riff. Thank you from Pakistan, thank you. Um, I appreciate you watching, and at its core, blues was what inspired me to play the ukulele because I kind of look at this thing like an underdog. Um, I don't think it's anything, people look at it like a toy, right? So you look at it and they think that it's not anything special. But one thing I'm looking to do with it is to show people that it's powerful as well. And songs like Manish Boy do that. Um, great stuff, great stuff. Reggae, Bob Marley. You know, we've done about seven Bob Marley songs as of today. We've done Redemption, we've done the classics, Three Little Birds in two different keys. I Shot the Sheriff, um, Steer It Up. So we have a lot, of, a, a lot of them out there for you. How long have I been playing ukulele? I actually have been playing, okay, so I am 32 now. And I started playing ukulele when I was 27 or 26, right around my 26 or 27th birthday. So about six years, about six years. And I started the ukulele. I started playing guitar before that about a year away. Would you ever do a ukulele giveaway? Great um, question, Fabulous Gaming. We are actually going to start monthly ukulele giveaways for our Patreons, for our $10 Patreons. So what we're going to be doing is, if you are a $10 Patreon, you're going to have access to live lessons like this. We're going to do more live lessons where we're going to be focusing on topics like blues, songs, and I'll have a PDF with that. And as well as if you are one of those Patreons, you will be entered in a monthly raffle for a ukulele as well. That doesn't mean I won't do general public ukulele giveaways, um, but we're kind of going to experiment with these ideas with our Patreons at first. Can you do a Hawaiian music lesson? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's time. We've never done a single Hawaiian song, um, and they have some interesting harmonies. I'm just not that familiar with it. So if anyone out there is watching right now and you have some ideas of where I should start with some Hawaiian music, requests would be greatly appreciated. 
Also, world music. If you're not from USA, you're not from Canada, you're not from England, you're from another country like we saw Pakistan, Lebanon. What are some tunes from your countries that I should learn? We did a song for a Japanese traditional song and I was called Shimi Uta, and I was blown away by how uh, successful it was. It was really, really cool. I had a good time with that. Let's see, it's been about, since I've done Riptide, it's been about two years since I've played it. So yeah, so there it is, but I wouldn't, I couldn't remember any of the words to it. That's, the one, of, that's one of the things about um, Ten Thumbs that is a little sad is, when I'm learning these songs, I'm learning five songs a week. So the ones that really stick and retain with me, they're not that many. I wish I had a, more time to dedicate to really getting these songs down. I mean, ideally, I would be able to teach the melody and everything, but we are been, we've been doing a lot of music. I have been on YouTube since April of 2013. Funny thing, if you guys go way back and look at the very first videos we did with YouTube, you can go back and you can see that our first videos were actually how to record music online. Before ukulele and before I played guitar, I used to make hip hop beats. And the hip hop beats that I would make, they would, um, I used to sample old records, and that's how I got into funk and jazz, and that's what led me to playing to these music. So if you go to our videos and you hit oldest video first, the very first videos you're gonna see are actually from a DAW called Reason, which is pretty funny. Then I taught three little birds on my balcony in my house when I lived in Buenos Aires. You can see the mustache and everything, thick, powerful mustache. And I was blown away that people uh, watched it. So we kind of gravitated towards ukulele and we've expanded to that. More Green Day stuff is, you know, Green Day Dookie was my first um, actual cassette and then it was my first CD. So there's a great question. Everyone who's out there watching right now, what was the first album that you bought? I would love to hear that because I really like, I think there's a strong sentimental connection with that music. Um, and I love to do songs from people's first albums. How did I grow the beard? There's an ancient, ancient Chinese secret to growing a beard. If you can't grow and you gotta wake up and slap that face in the morning, give it a couple hard wax in about a year or two, the beard will come in thick. La Vie en Rouge, we have done that one. That is actually our only song that we've done um, in the French language. Old school swing songs. Um, you have any suggestions? I have been playing cl and classic stuff from the Renaissance too. Some songs from the Renaissance, classic. What do you wanna hear? Um, I would be into that too. And Swing, I've been listening to a lot of um, Fats Waller and some things like that too. So I'll, I'll do a couple new standards. Memphis in June is another one that I really like to do on the channel soon. Moho, thank you for what you do. Thank you for watching. If it wasn't for people like you, I wouldn't do it um, because it's your success that motivates me. Tool, we've never done Tool. Got to do a Tool song for sure. And uh, it's your success that motivates me. When I get comments like, hey, I never thought I could play an instrument and you helped me do this, or hey, I did this in my talent show, or hey, I played this song um, to a girl I've had a crush on for five years and now we've been married for five days. <laughs> you know, those things make me pump. Those things make me excited, they give me adrenaline. I see those comments in the morning and I'm drinking my coffee and I'm literally giving fist pumps, like yes, yes, yes. What is my next video? I won't tell you, but I'm gonna, it's gonna have a solo. Hey, I remember those too. Margaret, you have been there since the very, very beginning. And uh, your support has been constant and I really appreciate you as well too. I really do, I mean that wholeheartedly. Um, and I know you want some more chord melody and I got some good ones that I've been working on for this year coming up. So tomorrow's song, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'll play the solo from it so you can get a little taste and maybe you can guess what it is. Actually, let me get my tabs up because I just worked it out. So one of the things that I'm doing when I'm doing these songs, if you're curious kind of what the process is, um, I start by just listening to a lot of music. And every single song that you guys request, I promise you, to a song, I listen to every single one of them, right? And then, so I gravitate kind of to what I enjoy. I gravitate, La Bamba, we did it, man. Whole, the whole riff, everything, we got the whole tune. So I really, really enjoy kind of going from that process of hearing a song that I've never heard before to listening to it, to working it out, to getting the solos and feeling it out. I think that it is a lot of fun to take something that was played on a guitar or a piano and turn it into something on the ukulele. And I really enjoy the feedback. So if you guys are watching this now um, and you see these videos and you dig it, it's, it's, I put a lot of work into it because I want you guys to enjoy it. Grace Vanderwall, yeah, she's great. We've done three of her songs, but I'd be interested in um, 
hearing what else you'd like to hear from her because I would love to do it. How many hours a week do you play ukulele? Lynn, Lynn, a long time commenter. Here's the thing, you guys. You guys repeatedly leave comments repeatedly and you repeatedly leave good vibes. I know your names, right? So I have a relationship with you guys and those comments carry more weight with me. If I see you commenting on every video and you're telling me good job, good job, good job, and then you ask me for a song, I feel like um, the relationship and the feedback you've given me is a little stronger. So that, that's a little hint if you're trying to get some songs played, like some cartoon theme songs, for example. So how long do I play a week? You know, that really depends. I don't really put a time on it. Um, some days I can play four or five hours, and then some days I don't really pick up the instrument. Which, man, I would say I probably play ukulele maybe five to six hours a week, and maybe guitar five to six hours a week. I average about an hour a day on each of them. My practices could be more productive, to be honest, because I waste a lot of time just, just noodling around and playing licks that I know. Good vibes, Ro, yeah, thank you for some good vibes. That's what I'm talking about. Um, good vibes all around, that's why we do this. That's why we do this. Let's see if I can get some more of this conversation up. Dude, you do You Got a Friend in Me by Randy Newman. Yes, I have. In fact, that song was one of the Ben Harper. Never done a Ben Harper, but that's a have to. Um, the, the um, oh, I already lost my train of thought. This is a little more tricky than I thought it would be. I have learned loads of songs for you since I started playing three years ago. Thank you. Man, thank you for your support. You've always been really supporting vocal and your support, and that's something that I appreciate. Um, in general, sometimes I can act like a little bit of an old dude, but this is some old dude advice for all you kids out there, you young bloods. If you got something that you want to be grateful for, um, verbalize that gratitude. You know what I mean? And if you got something negative to say, just swallow that verbalization. But if there's something you feel good about, share it. You know what I mean? Your mom cooks a wicked lasagna. You'd be like, Mom, thank you for the wicked lasagna. She's never going to get tired of hearing something like that. How long did it take me to get the hang of playing? I struggled with, I learned guitar first, and I played guitar for a year before I started playing the ukulele. And I struggled with guitar for that whole year. I would say I didn't get the hang of it at all um, in that year. And then I picked up a ukulele a year in, and we struggled with that together, um, both of those instruments. So it's about a year and a half for the guitar and about six months for the ukulele where I could say I got a hang of it. Can you teach us your songs that you wrote? You know, I'll talk a little bit about the um, songwriting process. Any Boston on the ukulele? Yeah, man, we have not, but we should. Boston is a must, man. I grew up with classic radio, so you're my wheelhouse when you're saying things like Boston, Journey's another band we've never done that we have to do, um, Thin Lizzy, you know what I mean? I, I like all that stuff, and I, and I would love to do it. My favorite 21 Pilot song is We Don't Believe What's On TV, that riff. <laughs> Stairway to Heaven, I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised coming up. I'm not going to say tomorrow, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised very soon. Um, that is one of those musts that we got to get done, and it's going to happen sooner than later. I also enjoy the House of Gold, the chord melody version I was working on, but I don't know if I can remember that off the top of my head. How was it? that melody there it is boss here back to work I go oh man Robert I'm sorry I feel that brother I feel that man what's your favorite song to play on the ukulele um, could you do any George Formby songs I need to do a George Formby song I feel foolish when I do them because I cannot do them justice there's a guy in England named Mike Warren who does excellent tutorials on those Formby songs my favorite song to play on ukulele um, it changes a lot. Um, I like riff-based things. Hey, thank you for the love on the space oddity cover. That's one that I enjoy playing a lot. I like riff-based tunes. So when I'm doing something, um, I like something that mixes riffs and chords that I can really get something bigger going on. So tunes like... Two 
that, I really, really enjoy jamming on. Hey, thank you, Cookie Crumbs. Um, none of us natural talent. It's all hard work. Do cartoon theme songs. What what theme songs would you be feeling on that one? I am. I was born in 1985. I grew up in the 90s. So my cartoons might not be the cartoons that you were thinking about. Air Catcher is a must. We haven't done Air Catcher yet. It's been a while since we've done 21 Pilots. So maybe either Air Catcher or Ruby would be the next songs of theirs that we're going to do. All right. Okay. Another thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, Sorry, my friend. Thank you for coming. Um, we're going to try to do more of these live streams. Take it easy in Sweden. I know it's a little later over there, um, so I dig it. Arctic Monkeys, what song would you like to hear? We've only done one of them. So I would love to hear SpongeBob. That's a great idea. All right, so this is what I wanted to talk about, too. I wanted to talk about musical goals. I wanted to talk about musical goals. This year, I am setting two musical goals for myself. I am going to learn how to sing. Long-term viewers of the channel know that I'm an awful singer. Another thing that I'm going to try to work on is some piano, all right? So that's another goal of mine is learn how to play piano. I want to know what your musical goals are and how you go about achieving them because it's really kind of the way you set yourself up for success is how you're going to achieve your success, all right? So I'm wondering, I'm wondering, what are you going to do? This year for me, it's singing and piano. Now, we'll see what happens because I'm going to try to learn all of these things on my own. Drums, very nice, very nice. Well, I used to want a beatbox back in the day. Something like that. <laughs> Banjo Laylee, you got one, you lucky dog. Lane, all right, man. I'm going to have... <laughs> Maybe next year, Santa. Star Wars, Zelda, Super Mario. Though, you know, the Zelda one I've got a lot of requests for. Um, especially Ocarina of Time was uh, a song, or th that particular tune was one I've got a request for that I should take a look at. Another thing I like to do is, I don't know if you guys mess with James Hill, but I like to get more into that. type of ukulele as well. Can you do Marty Bum? What is Marty Bum? Is Marty Bum a tune? I'm not quite familiar with what the Marty Bum is, but I would love to kind of uh, get a vibe for that and see what that is. It's not, it's actually not that hard to do, Nighthawk. It's, if you can keep the time, you want to think about it as like one, two, three, four. Being able to verbalize and count these ideas are going to help you learn a lot. So it's something like, I'll check it out, Jack. Thank you, man. So the idea is one, two, three, four. Hey, thanks, Red. Actually, we just opened our Etsy shirt, our Etsy store today. So now we are doing um, third party through Printful, and we are sending these t-shirts out throughout the world. So you could be the first person to represent a 10 Thumbs t-shirt. And the first person I ever see walking around in a 10 Thumbs t-shirt, no matter where they are in the world, I'm going to give them a big old hug in that kiss because it's going to be epic. I have had, I've met two um, Ten Thumbers in real life. One was in, a, in the airport in, um, in Miami, I believe it was. Miami, maybe Dallas. And I was coming back from Columbia to the United States, and I got to go into this other little line where, hey, ABBA is a necessary one, too. And I had to go in this one other little line because, for whatever reason, they flagged me as some kind of bad guy or something. So I was in there waiting for the line, and there was a bunch of people just sweating with their suitcases, and it was getting a little hairy situation. And then the guy at the TSA saw my ukulele, and then he showed me a video of his daughter playing, and it turned out his daughter learned ukulele with 10 thumbs. So they just sent me right through the line. That was the first time that I ever met someone in, um, in uh, 10 thumbs in real life. And the other time was one time playing ukulele on a pier in San Francisco. A young man came up and asked me to play my ukulele, and then he was playing and jamming with me, and after a conversation, he realized that I was 10 thumbs and that he had learned ukulele with me and he gave me a big hug and that was a really cool interaction. Abu Dhabi, all right, my friends from the Middle East. And a Cordoba ukulele as well too, man, nice. Cordoba's a great, great, great um, brand. I played the ukuleles and the guitars and I enjoy them both. Playing ukulele for six years now. Um, you know, if I could, if you could get concentrated practice, there's ways to learn a little quicker than, I, than you did. Why did I start playing ukulele? I used to make hip-hop beats a long time ago, and in that process, 
Mitchell, I see you. I'll get to those ukuleles and guitars in a second. Um, in that, yeah, I can say hi to your family, man. What's up, family? Um, Red, my man out there in Abu Dhabi, hello to your whole family. I see you, Prescott. Hey, Duncan, man, how you been, brother? Out in, in, in Arizona, man. Um, Duncan was a Patreon for a long time, cool dude, um, interactive. Always like to see these old faces. That's really cool. So I used to make these hip-hop beats, and I, and I used to have to go and listen to all this music and cut this music up. It was very really time-consuming. So I bought a ukulele to try to learn it, but I never did because I lost it. And about um, four or five years later, I found a broken guitar, strang it, and I learned how to play guitar on YouTube. I'm just like you guys. I didn't have any lessons. I learned my, how to play guitar on YouTube. And a year into that, I found my old ukulele, and I learned how to tune it, and then I just started playing the songs that I knew on the guitar, and then I fell in love with it. I was um, a lifeguard at a YMCA, and I was actually opening the pool. And so I had to be there at 5.30, but we could open at 6. So I get there at 5.30, set the pool up, and I'd have 30 minutes to play my ukulele alone in the pool. And I learned right there waiting for those first swimmers. Hey, South Carolina, what's up? Hey, hey, my girl, MIP out there in Chile. Que mas pues, you know, no. It's good to see that you're here, too. Hi, Stephanie. Um, this is a hi from 10 Thumbs out there, so I'm saying hi to Stephanie. Um, Lily, you smell like nachos. Maybe I might work on that and uh, try to clean that mess up a little bit. All right, so that's where we're at. A couple new things that we're doing. If it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have learned drums, guitar, ukulele, and drums. I get that. I get that. I'm in that same boat. Um, I'm a self-taught musician. I say self-taught because I'm, hey, Massachusetts in the house. I say self-taught because it's not really self-taught as much as it is learning with the digital community. And I found that digital community very supportive. I learned specifically with a guy named Marty Schwartz on something called Guitar Jams. And now he does Marty Music. And he was the biggest influence that I had. Um, in learning the guitar online and then when i got started there was this hole and i didn't see a ukulele equivalent so that's what inspired me to get going and then when i made this one video people started watching it and it motivated me to keep making them you know you know and now there's a couple other ones out there there's some other good channels ukulele teachers good cynthia lynn's good ukulele cheats are good bernadette music is good so it exists now but at the time when i started this was in 2014 um it was really just being the ukulele teacher. But yeah, I do, I like all those guys. And I got nothing but love for them. Um, I, I wish them all with success. What they've done for the ukulele community is incredible. Because now we've got a million people playing these instruments, which I think is really, really nice. My favorite brand of ukuleles, um, I play Martins. I really, really like Sopranos. And would you ever do a fan meetup someday? For sure, Fabulous Gaming, for sure. I'm hoping someday I have enough fans where they're going to want to meet me, but right now it's still kind of a small thing. Um, I would like to be able to do tours, and I would like to be able to go to the countries where you guys are, and I'd like to be able to do... Alisa, you know, I haven't watched... Alisa, I haven't watched a lot of her videos, but um, the one or two that I've seen, she seems um, like a really good teacher, too. I do like Kala ukuleles as well, too. Kala's are great. Um, Kala's ukuleles are great. Martin's are great. My first ukulele I still love. I still play it all the time. It's out there in the living room, so I won't get it. But it is a Luna High Tide that I love with all my heart as well, too. Trouble with figure picking. What's the best cheap ukulele, Blake? I would say anything that you can get for about um, 80 bucks is probably going to be pretty good. But I think if you're looking to get a nice brand at a reasonable price, I'd start with Luna Arcala. I kind of look like the Lebanese Prime Minister. <laughs> Here from Bernadette, teacher of music. Oh, Mary, nice, nice. Came by. She's a great teacher. I love it. Mahalo, great brand too, as well. Um, can you do a tutorial for Riptide by Vance Joy about how he plays it live? Yeah, Jack, that's a good idea. I should probably do it. I should probably just retune it and, and do a more advanced version too, because I like to try to do beginner versions and advanced versions of them. Um, do you reckon? And so I like to try to get that balance. And with that balance, that way there's something for everyone. All right, here's a great question. Novice guitar player, just got a concert ukulele. Do I recommend a baritone ukulele? And I would say no. I would say what I would tell you, my friend Eric, is to think about your ukulele um, like having a uh, capo on the fifth fret of your guitar. So your shapes, for example, if you can learn how to transpose them, your G chord is like your D chord on your guitar. When you make an F chord, for example, too, you can think about it like a C shape just without that top finger. 
um, your D minor on your ukulele is just like your A minor shape on the guitar. So you're going to start to see a couple parallels if you think about it like having a capo on the fifth fret. How popular is the brand Lanaika? Um, I don't know. You know, as far as brands go, I don't know that much. I kind of live in a little bit of a ukulele bubble. So I don't really, I can't really tell you what brands are. I, I would say this. I would say if it's strong and in tune and you play it and you like it, then that's the right ukulele for you. Um, and I, I wouldn't worry so much about the brand names. Some low G tutorials. Yeah, you know, I, when songs get in that register, sometimes we do riffs on them. If you're looking for some low G, you should try Friend is a Four Letter Word by Cake. We did that one with our low G. And it sounds absolutely great. You, I'm an inspiration. You are an inspiration. Your learning is my inspiration. Um, I just like to share my information with you. Before I was a ukulele teacher, I was a English teacher. So I spent a lot of time in the classroom, and I really just take a lot of satisfaction out of um, helping people achieve what they want to achieve. I think it's a cool thing. Thin tenor. Yeah, I would like a thin tenor. I don't play a lot of tenor. What are your favorite ukulele sizes? Leave a comment on that one. Are you guys playing? Are you playing soprano? Are you playing tenor? I'd love to hear that as well. All right. Okay, so the last kind of thing I would like to talk about are some changes that we're going to be doing in 2018. Um, our Friday lessons that we're doing every other Friday right now, we're doing a Spanish song in English and Spanish, but I'm thinking about every Friday doing a song in Spanish, but I will, I will, I'm not going to do songs that we haven't done in English yet. So if you see a song on a Friday and it says, okay, this is how we're going to play... I'm yours, and it's in Spanish. You go, oh, I want to know in English. We should have it in English. I live, where do I live? How long did I teach English? I taught English for seven years between Colombia and Argentina. I lived in Bogota, Medellin, and Buenos Aires. And I currently live in Medellin, Colombia. Um, I have been here for the greater part of the last eight years, with two of those years in Buenos Aires, Argentina. So, some of the things we're going to be doing, just launch the new t-shirts. I'd love it if you guys could represent 10 thumbs and get on there. Um, I, would, I would be absolutely honored if you thought enough of us to put a t-shirt on with our logo on it and wear it around. It might make you the coolest kid in the school. Yeah, it might. It might. But it might not. But it might. You know, you never know, right? Another thing that would be fun, too, is if you guys, um, do I have any Patreons in the live chat? Any of you guys out there Patreons? We're going to be doing a lot of cool things for the Patreons to advance their learning as well. Besides just getting a PDF with every single lesson, we're going to be doing live specific lessons, like group lessons, like what we're doing now, but engineered toward a specific topic. Like, okay, today's live lesson is going to be talking about transposing a blues in A to a blues in D and talking about the one, four, five. So that's going to be some things we're going to be doing with the advanced courses. And then the more beginner courses, we're going to be doing group songs as well. So that's something to look at because it's going to, it starts at 10 bucks a month. And a $10 basically almost private lesson is going to be probably the best you're going to do on the ukulele price. So it's a win-win. Just going to throw it out there. But like always, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. And if you're learning for free with just YouTube, that's cool with me because you guys are also a huge part of what I'm doing. All right. Thank you, Ro. What is my favorite tabulature? And um, my favorite scale, well, my favorite tabulature that I use, I use ultimateguitar.com. Um, Dottie Clark, I'll check that one out. I've heard that one. And so I would like to, um, how will you do the Patreon lives? Yeah, I'm, okay, that's a good question. I mean, I got a lot of questions and I want to answer them all. What I'm going to do is set it up like this, but I'm going to have private links to the Patreon, and I'm going to share the private link to the Patreon, and that's going to come with the PDF. So it will be, say, in advance, let's say in three days at um, 4 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to do a live jam for these Patreons, and here is the PDF for that lesson. And so the idea is we can get on, and I'll just work through the whole thing, but at a pace where you can stop me, ask specific questions, and we learn it all together. Irish songs, man. Yeah, I would love to get into the dad dad tuning and do some of that Celtic music. Um, did anyone tell you that you got a nice smile? Thank you. I should try to smile more on my lessons. My mom likes my smile. My wife likes my smile. Um, I like to smile, too, in all my pictures, too. Every driver's license, every visa, every photo I've ever had, I'm always smiling, and I like it. 
Um, eh, thank you, counterfeit. Yeah, man, that, that uh, surfing tee was drawn by a friend that I met in Argentina because I talk English at the duty free store. So if you've ever been to Argentina, those places where all the people are selling perfume, I taught English to the managers there. And there was one guy working in retail that quit his job, sold all his possessions, and now he walks the earth painting murals. He's really cool. He's called Gordo de Bujos. So you can check him out on Instagram, Gordo de Bujos. And he was the one that did that surfing tee for me. Really, really cool dude. Can you teach us, would you be so kind? You know what, that song, would you be so kind? I'm gonna look for it right now because I've got a lot of requests for Dottie Clark and oh, she plays ukulele. I kind of have to do it now. So yes, to answer your question, yes, I can teach you that song. When will I do it? Um, soon. How long have I been married? I've been married for, I just completed five years of the old matrimony with my old lady in September. Um, I met her here in Argentina. Or, I'm sorry, I met her in Medellin. I was getting a little restless and I sold my stuff and I was just, so I told her I was gonna move to Buenos Aires and I said if she wanted to come, she could. And so she sold her stuff and we went down in a bus from Medellin to Buenos Aires and she got her degree down there. And on the way down there, um, we said, hey, Mm, let's just get married. So she was cool with it, and we have been stuck together ever since. Hey, thank you, Roby, for checking it out. Um, I'm going to try to do more of these lessons, these live lessons, because I'm having a lot of fun with them. Interacting with you guys is a great, um, it's a great time. The more I know you guys, the better I know you guys, the more I can create lessons for you. And that's my ultimate goal. I really just want to be able to create things that you're enjoying and that you're going to have fun learning. That, that's the whole goal, all right? Okay, so what else in 2018? We're also going to do monthly giveaway, giveaways with the lady with our Patreons. Um, the store is going to be up. Thinking about doing more vlogs. I don't know if you guys saw the vlog where I cut my hair. I recently was going to do another one on some beat making, but we're thinking about doing some more vlog content as well, if you guys are interested in that. I will also, thank you, Abby, thank you. Um, some slide ukulele. We do need to get more. <laughs> we do need to get more slide ukulele. The coolest way, yeah, hey, let's get married. She said, okay, it was a little more romantic than that, but not much. I said, hey, you know what? Um, I think we should get married. And what do you think? She said, it's cool. So we were on the beach, under the bridge, Red Hot Chili Peppers, we got that one. And um, so then I, we were on the beach and I went and I found a, a ring made out of wood and it cost me $1. And I got on the knee on the beach and I gave her this ring made out of wood for $1. And that lady uh, wore the ring until it split in half. And that's when I knew she was for me um, because I, I like I like simple folks and I like simple things. And any woman that would put on a ring for a dollar was the kind of woman that, that I wanted to spend my life with. All right, folks. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, this is the first live. If you enjoyed the live session, leave a comment and tell me that you enjoyed it. And we will do more of these in the future. I had a lot of fun getting to know you. I will try to, hello Russia, hola Russia, el mundial este año, vamos Colombia. So um, maybe next time what I'll do is I will create a PDF or something with a specific lesson and I will have it to a link and you guys can just grab it and we'll do a group lesson or something like that and we can learn it live together. Hola Argentina. Otro, otra canción en español. Nosotros estamos sacando los tutoriales en español todos los viernes, pues cada otro viernes y todos están en español hasta su estéreo, hasta Gardel, Tango, todo. Thank you, Lynn. Um, um, thank you, Nighthawk. Thank you, Daniel. Really cool. Bye, Margaret. Love to have you on here. Jack, group lessons do sound great, so I'm going to think about kind of what that could be. Mitchell, you're amazing. Trust me, my friend. Loop to you, some covers. Karen, todo bien en México. Apenas me fui por DF, que bacano tu país. Amo, amo tu país con todo mi corazón. Looking forward to more live streams. Me too, bro. Louisiana out. I'm all about that. Take care, my brother, in the bayou. All right, and until next time, um, I love you guys. I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate everything you do. Bye from Ireland. Um, great to have you there in Ireland. Okay, man, I'll check that one out. Um, you rock, Susan. Um, all you guys rock. I, I really love you. And now you guys are about to see Grandpa level 3000 <laughs> as I don't know how to stop this live broadcast. So bear with me. Okay, here it is. I found Stop Broadcast. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. 2018 is going to be big things. 
Um, next live broadcast, we'll experiment with some live lessons. Think about becoming a Patreon. It really does help me, and I promise it really does help you. And check out the T-shirts. Like I said, coolest kid in school. Till next time, like we always say when we go out, love, peace, and chicken grease. Ten thumbs, life is good. Let's take it out with the blues and eat. Why not? 2018 is going to be the best year for ten thumbs yet. I said 2018 is going to be the best year for ten thumbs yet. And if I sing a little flat, it is what it is, don't get so upset. Well, I'm making up this jam right here on the spot. Well, I'm making up this jam right here, right here, right here, right here on the spot. Well, it's not the greatest song that I've ever heard, but hey, it's all I got. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. Love, peace, and chicken grease. All good.